A federal judge threatened to revoke Sam Bankman Freed's bail on Thursday, which means the FTX founder could find himself in jail, not in house arrest, as he awaits trial. The latest hearing concerned Bankman Freed's use of virtual private network, also known as a VPN, even after he was ordered not to use the internet in a way the government can't track. The disgraced former head of FTX has been free on a $250 million bond since being charged with fraud and conspiracy in December. The judge gave prosecutors and the defense attorneys more time to propose stricter conditions of his pretrial release. And for more on this, we are joined by a formal federal prosecutor, Mitchell Eppner. Mr. Eppner, thank you for joining us again. Mr. Carr, thank you for having me. Um, okay, so the issue here seems to be not necessarily that he used the Internet to watch the Super Bowl, which probably millions of Americans did. It's that he used a VPN and the government couldn't track it. Is that right? Yes, and uh, I'm just going to caution you. The fact that the um, defense team said that he used the VPN to watch the Super Bowl, uh, the judge and the prosecutors really um, took them to task about that because you could have watched the Super Bowl over the air TV um, anyway on cable. Uh, Fox on your, on the internet, there was no need to watch a VP, use a VPN that would make it seem as if you were in the Bahamas. So I think that um, angered uh, Judge Kaplan. He, he, uh, he wrote a very angry opinion. Well, as a millennial, I'm just thinking out loud here, uh, a lot of us are watching TV over the internet and sometimes it's not from legal places. Maybe he uh, had his cable subscription that he needed to log into back in the Bahamas because his rich parents didn't uh, provide cable for him. I don't know. Is that a possibility? Lots of things are possible. That's not probable. And um, it didn't serve him well because uh, he's violating um, the converse of the rule from when Harry met Sally. I I'm a general Generation X guy, when you're facing the possibility of spending the rest of your life in jail, you want to put off the rest of your life for as long as possible. I think I understand that, too. Uh, I do have a question, too, about um, just the, the use of the VPN here. It, it, the judge seems to be saying that we need stricter bail restrictions and prosecutor and defense attorney, you need to get together. But at the same time, this happened previously. I think it was a week or two ago. We had you on last time. The defense attorney and the prosecution did come together and have an agreement, and the judge said that wasn't enough. So, so how often does that happen, where the two sides do come to an agreement, and the judge says that's not enough? So that's infrequent, but what happened here was the judge sent them back to come up with a stricter agreement. The government was prepared to agree to what the defense wanted. Then they found out that he used this VPN, which basically means he could surf the internet and do whatever he wanted without anybody being able to monitor it in real time. And the government said, no, we need these nine restrictions. And the defense said, no, judge, you should hold them to the deal that they initially said. And the judge said, not only am I going to send you back to come up with stricter uh, restrictions, but if the government asked me, I would put this guy in jail. That's reading between the lines what Judge Kaplan said. Well, and also the issue here with the VPN, the, the implicit issue with in, uh, additional restrictions is that he wasn't just watching the Super Bowl. Isn't that kind of what's going on here? Yes. I, I mean, when somebody tells you something that makes no sense, you assume that there's that the real reason is something that's very inculpatory. Um, and who knows what else he was doing? I I know the attorneys who are representing the defendant here. I don't think they would say something untrue. So I think he probably did watch uh, the Super Bowl over the um, over the VPN. But they didn't say that was the only thing he used the VPN for. And if they could have said that, they would have. I understand that. And the other, the other issue here, aside from what else could he have been doing on the Internet, is that he was accused of potential witness tampering using Signal, which is an encrypted app. And so they're implicitly here concerned that he might be witness tampering or doing something else, aren't they? They're worried that he might be witness tampering. They're worrying that... Um, of the billions of dollars that have gone missing, maybe he has access to some of it and he's moving it from place to place. They're worried about a lot of stuff and uh, he's gotten uh, three strikes already, but the catcher dropped the ball because the government didn't ask for him to be put in jail. One more strike and he's going to be in jail for a very long time.
Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.